Dennis Villeneuve Eve's long-awaited adaptation of sci-fi story Dune has finally hit our screens, both big and small. The film saw big box office numbers with its split theatrical and HBO Max release. Our film reporter Caroline Plan is pulling double duty tonight, talking Dune. Caroline, thank you for being here with me. I have not yet seen this film, but I'm very excited to. So break it all down for me. Dune debuted at $40 million in the box office. How does this affect the future of the movie? Yes, I mean, well, this affects it really recently, actually. Dune 2 is going to be coming out of this, you know, Dune Part 1 is what we got to see this past week. But, you know, what we can see with the Part 2 is how this, you know, it broke the HBO and Warner Brothers, like, that whole record was broken. We've previously seen this record set by Godzilla vs. Kong. I mean, 40 million, that's a big number. However, in terms of the pandemic, you know, we saw Shang-Chi make double that. So, you know, it actually did surprise me a little bit that this number was enough to have a sequel. However, the sequel is on the way. Well, that is, I guess, somewhat surprising in a way, like already having number two. That's crazy. Was there anything else in this um, film that struck you, that surprised you? I know the cast was stellar. So tell me, what do you think? Yes, I mean, a big shock to me definitely watching this. You know, you see all of these red carpets, Zendaya looking amazing in all of them, if I may say so myself. And then she was only in the movie for seven minutes total, um, which absolutely shocked me completely. I had no idea that this was going to be the case. You know, you see her everywhere. She's in all the promotions. She's making money from these promotions, clearly. And then in a two-hour, 35-minute film, you see her for literally seven minutes flat. Um, so that was just really shocking to me. Going into this, I had no idea what was going on, like where she was going to be. Granted, I did not read the book. However, you know, it was a shock to many people who also had not read the book that she wasn't really a key player in this movie at all. That's insane. Was there anything else that you thought about the rest of the cast? Yes, I mean, the rest of the cast. Am I going to play in about two hours and 35 minutes of Timothy Chalamet? No, I am <laughs> not. Oh, my goodness. They just blew me away, truly. All their intense characters behind this. They really put their personalities into it. You know, I thought that Rebecca Ferguson really did steal the show in the beginning. She just is so serious. She took it so well. She just played her role as she really should. And I just thought the rest of the cast was absolutely amazing. Well, Caroline, thank you so much for joining us here. When we come back on Unpeeled, a look at baseball's fall classic. We'll be right back on Peelers. <laughs> 